Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here and you're cooking with Jack. And guess what? Not only is this international dish number five, but it is also a recipe off cookingwithjack.net. This is one of your guys' recipes. So I got this off the website. If you want to make recipe suggestions, go to cookingwithjack.net. It's our new cooking community where you can ask questions and make recipe suggestions and talk about the shows. It's awesome. Go check it out. This one right here, I just snatched it right off. It seems really cool. It's a Korean dish, and I forget, I think it's called, it, there's two ways you can pronounce it. One's called Galbi, and one's called Kalbi. A K and a G. Uh, the Wikipedia said Galbi, so I'm going to go with Galbi. We'll go with the G version. All right, this is a, this is a Korean marinade. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's got some really cool ingredients. So let's bring you in close right now, and, uh, and we'll show you exactly what we're going to use. I'm using flank steak. You can do skirt steak, flank steak. You can do uh, beef short ribs. You can do anything you want with this marinade. It's real simple. I'm going to be slicing this real thin. I have uh, scallions, which are green onions. We're going to use all of it. We're using the white and the green side. Here is a onion. We're going to be using that. Also some sesame seed oil. Here's the key ingredient. It's sriracha, uh, sriracha or sriracha. I can never pronounce that. It's sriracha hot chili sauce. You guys have seen these in, uh, in some of the Asian restaurants, uh, in, in Vietnamese and Chinese and all over. This stuff's really, really good. This is gonna be amazing. Black pepper, soy sauce, garlic, and sugar. So let's start by cutting the meat. Okay, now this flank steak is about two pounds and it cost me $13. That's kind of a high end. If you wanna go with a cheaper cut of meat, try a London broil. We're just gonna cut it, we're gonna slice it thin. Normally, if you're gonna marinate meat, you don't wanna cut it up. But this recipe, you really wanna penetrate the slices and it calls for uh, slicing it thin first and then marinating the slices. Now, if you look, flank steak is very, very uh, tough if you cut it the wrong way. See all these lines going this way? I'm gonna show you right now. Never cut this way with the lines. Always cut against the lines. Because let's, let's take, for example, if you take a slice of meat here and then you separate it, all the lines make it just open up and become tender. It just kind of falls apart. If you cut one of the, this way with the lines, you're going to get one strand of meat that will not break. So you always cut against the grain. That's called the grain. The grooves, that's called the grain, okay? You can probably see a better shot. See it? Okay, see those lines right in there? Okay, so we're going to slice this thin this way. And there's no, there's no right way to do it. Make sure your hands are washed. You're just gonna not cut your fingers off. Get a sharp knife, thin pieces, and just go down the whole flank steak so you get all your thin strips going. I'm just gonna, we know we're gonna marinate in this bag, so I'm just gonna put all the meat in the bag right now. We'll get that over with. Then we're gonna pour all the marinade in here. So there you go. Okay, get your mixing bowl out. We're gonna mix a few ingredients together and make the marinade. Now, it says you can use a cup of sugar. I'm, in fact, the recipe that you guys, whoever posted this, um, I think it was Kelly, Kelly posted this. You can, uh, you can replace the white with brown sugar, it's even better. So, whoop, that's gone. And I found a little bit of, little bit of brown sugar back in the cabinet. So, I'm gonna see if I can get a cup in here. We're gonna do brown sugar. Wow, literally there's about a cup left, so we're just gonna dump that in there. Cup of soy sauce. Three cups of warm water. So I'm just gonna grab that off, off the sink here. All right, three cups. There's one cup, two cups, and the third cup. Three cups warm water. All right, to finish it off, two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. Let's get that in there. Wow, that's thick. It almost like, it's almost like a honey. So look at it, the oil just sits right on top. That's so bizarre. There you go. Wow. Mix that up. You can get a whisk too. Just make sure the sugar gets completely dissolved. We're gonna do about half of a large onion. So I cut up a whole onion, I'll use the other stuff later. We're putting in half a large onion. And we're going to put in one bunch of sliced up scallions, two inches, two inch pieces, okay? I did the whole bunch. 
Put that in there. Two tablespoons minced garlic. You can add more if you like. I love garlic, so I don't ever worry about putting too much in. All right, half a tablespoon of black pepper. Once again, I like black pepper, so I don't worry about putting too much in either. There we go. And here comes the best part. I'm excited about this. I just fell in love with this stuff. I just started, I mean, everybody's, you guys have had this for a long time in most restaurants. You put in one tablespoon of the sriracha hot chili sauce. That is just gonna make some amazing heat. Can't wait. That's just gonna taste awesome. Gonna mix that all together. There you go. Don't worry, the recipe's down below. The recipe will say you can add sesame seeds. I'm not adding any into this one. I'm not a big fan of sesame seeds, but uh, you can add a whole bunch of different things. All right, it's all mixed up. It smells amazing. Wow, that sesame seed oil is like overpowering everything else. It really is. I didn't realize how strong that was. All right, so here's my favorite part. The part where I'm not sure it's gonna all fit in this bag. <laughs> This is the part where I spill. So let's see if I can get this. In fact, I always do this over the sink. And you're gonna pour the marinade right into it. Let's see if I can turn this to where you can see it. There we go. That's way better. Let's see if I can get it in there. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> I only spilt a few drops. Cool. Seal it up. Bring it back over the table. Make sure you wipe the bottom so it doesn't drip all over your table. Okay, and there it is. Now your meat is, is marinating. Let me show you how to, do you know how to let the air out? You want this completely without air. So you just crack the corner a little bit. It's all sealed except this little spot right here. Okay, see that right there? It's open. Okay, just leave it. And then you're gonna keep everything else sealed, okay? And then you're gonna push the air out gently. So it looks like it's almost gonna come bubbling out. Real slow, real slow. You're gonna hold it there, seal the rest of the bag, and then give it one more swipe just to make sure it's closed. Now it's completely without air. It's nice and tight, okay? Now mix it all in. Get all that, the onions in there with the meat. You're gonna leave this in the uh, refrigerator for 24 hours, then we're gonna grill this all. I'm grilling the onions too. Everything's gonna get grilled together, okay? There it is, look at that. Nice. That is called Galbi, and uh, I can't wait to try it. It's gonna be awesome, baby. All right, so I will see you in 24 hours. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge, and we'll be back tomorrow. All right, so this has been marinating for 24 hours, and I can smell, coming through the, the Ziploc, I can smell the spiciness. It's gonna be awesome. Let's cook this up, and then we will, uh, uh, we will plate it up and try it out and see how it tastes. Oh, this is called Galbi. It's gonna be interesting. Now, I just wanna give you an idea, okay? Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Put a little, whoops, <laughs> sorry. Put a little lime juice on there. There we go. Now I wanna show you something. I don't normally eat with my hands, so I'm going to just uh, do this for demonstration purposes. Make sure your hands are clean, okay? But look at this, ready? This is a tough, normally a tough piece of meat. Whoops, piece of meat. See this? Look, ready? See it? Can you see all the, look at that. Just, pee, just pulls right apart. You can probably cut it with a fork. We're gonna try this right now and see how it tastes. I bet it's got just the right amount of heat in it. I have to say, you know, the pickles may not have gone good last week, but I'll tell you, I nailed this one. I nailed this one. I'll get a little bit of onion. There we go. Let's try it out right now. Mmm. Mmm. The heat's perfect. Oh, sweetness. The brown sugar really makes it. Oh, it's delicious. There it is. International dish number five. We should have done Korea way in the beginning. There you go. We got more coming, and I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care. Hey, how are you? It's absolutely amazing. I'm all f and yet I look happy. You need to go freaking lay down because I hate you.
You know what works better than taking off the collar? Tightening it. <laughs> so if you want to give me a recipe for the show, go to cookingwithjack.net, register for the site. Oh my God, can you make any more noise? What are you doing? I'm recording. I'm not talking to myself. There's millions of people out there. Serious. All right, maybe 14,000.